everyone. I'm Donna from Living on a Budget. And on this channel, we like to share ideas on how you can budget your money and find deals for you, things to help you save money on groceries and anything else we can help you save money on. Today is episode one of our series, Dollar Tree versus Walmart. So what I did is I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought 15 to 20 items. And then I went online and checked on Walmart's website to see how much I could have gotten those for at Walmart. And the results are in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with our price comparison. Okay, so today I'm going to start out with some cleaning products. These are items that I purchased a couple days ago at the Dollar Tree. So to start off, I got this Palmolive Essential Clean Original Dish Liquid. Actually, I'm sorry, I got this one. Palmolive Essentially Clean Original Dish Soap, 14 ounce. And that cost me $1.25 for 14 ounces. Now, if I go over to Walmart, we'll see this one is a 12.6 ounce of plum olive, and it's $8.95. So that is quite a big difference in price. So the Dollar Tree wins this one. And I also got the Ajax dish soap, and I was looking at that one earlier. And this one was interesting because the Ajax was almost identical in price. Here it is. The Ajax Ultra Triple Action Liquid Dish Soap, 14 ounce for $1.25. And $1.24. And at the Dollar Tree, I got one for $1.25 right here. So that was a toss-up. Walmart was a little cheaper, but only by a penny. Okay. Okay, so next I want to go to the Comet Disinfectant Cleanser with Bleach. And uh, I was able to find that at Walmart for 75 cents. And that one was $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Because remember, everything at the Dollar Tree is no longer a dollar. It's $1.25. So that was a 50 cent difference on that one. Okay. Then I went on to baking soda. Um, I found a 14 ounce box of baking soda at the Dollar Tree for a dollar 25 and here at Walmart I can get a one pound box which is 16 ounces so two ounces more for 93 cents so that one was also a much better deal Then I went on to soft soap. I got a soft soap refill. Um, I got a 32 ounce soft soap refill at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And at Walmart, they didn't have the 32 ounce. What they had was 50 ounces. But those 50 ounces, the least costly one, was four dollars and seventy cents for fifty ounces. So that is quite a bit of a price difference because thirty-two ounces, if you bought that twice, would be two dollars and fifty cents, and you'd get sixty-four ounces. Where 
you'd pay almost twice that for 50 ounces at Walmart. So on this one, we did do better at the Dollar Tree for all three of them. The next item I got in the cleaning area was the Glade Solid. And I got it in clean linen. Of course, that was $1.25. But if I had went to Mar Walmart, I could have found that for 97 cents. So a little bit less on that one at Walmart. I also went, I bought Spick and Span for the floors. And let's see, I can find the bottle that I got. Bottle I got was just a regular bottle, which it doesn't look like they actually have that particular one at Walmart. Everything is with a spray bottle. And the stick and span that I got was not with a spray bottle. So it would appear that if we want stick and span in a regular bottle for the floors, let me put stick and span floor and see if that yields something different. And it does not. So the spick and span I can't compare because there isn't a comparison one at Walmart. Okay, um, the next thing I want to share with you is the lavender bleach. Uh, I like the lavender scent better. Um, I got... 96 ounces at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Here at Walmart, the low splash bleach and lavender is $3.94 for 81 ounces. And up here, the only other one I found, actually they both are the low splash. Um, so there is a significant difference in that price. Their great value bleach, 121 ounces, is $4.96. So if we were to do that, um, I think we could all see that it's definitely less expensive to buy 96 ounces for $1.25 than to pay $5 for just about not even 30 ounces more. And if you wanted the low splash, you could get 81 ounces for $3.94. So again, the Dollar Tree wins on the bleach. And then right back here, I wanted to show you a couple items. These are items that I got at the Dollar Tree as well, but they were also at Walmart. When was the Yardley soap? And I'm thinking almost every um, Dollar Tree has the Yardley soap. And I got two different ones. I got the activated charcoal. English lavender, both of those bars were 4.25 ounces. Well, if you look here, the English lavender, 4.5 ounces with the essential oils, which is the one I got at Walmart, is $6.99. So, quite a big difference there. Or the Yardley soap. And let's see if we can find the activated charcoal. I'm going to make the assumption that it is also more. This one is for a three pack, so we just want a single pack. Um, 
here we go. This is exactly what I purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And here it is at Walmart for $8.24. So again, quite a bit of savings getting those at the Dollar Tree. Uh, and I got a double pack of Irish Spring soap bars. And let's see, we got a double pack of Classic Charcoal. Let's see if we can find those. Got original. So they may not have the charcoal. Of course, charcoal wasn't the only scent they had. But here we are with a two bar of just regular Iowa Spring deodorant bar soap, two pack two 3.2 ounce bars. Again, we're looking at $8.10 as opposed, opposed to $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So those are, you know, th those savings are pretty significant. I got some camo bandages. Let's see if they have those. at the Dollar Tree. And this was the Curid brand. Twenty-five bandages. Three and a quarter by three. Twenty-five in the pack. That is exactly what I got at the Dollar Tree. And they are six ninety-nine at Walmart. Again quite a significant difference. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to some personal care products. So actually we did that already with the, uh, the soaps. I wanted to check Scotty's tissues here to facial tissue let's see what we find out now okay the ones that i got were 160 in a pack two ply they have them in another brand for a dollar 32 Scotty's. This looks kind of like the one I got. That has four boxes in it. So as I breeze through on the first page, I don't see the Scotty's. However, I do see the great value which um, is one of Walmart's brands, and their two ply with 160 sheets is a dollar thirty-two. I was able to get the Scotties, 162 ply for a dollar twenty-five. So um, not a big price difference, but definitely a little bit of a difference. Okay, again, I got. Colgate, cavity protection, toothpaste, 2.5 ounces, 6 ounce 3 pack, okay so here we go, it's cheaper at Walmart because it's only a dollar at Walmart where that exact same one was a dollar twenty-five 
at the Dollar Tree. Then Crest, Fresh and White, and that one was I didn't write down the ounces on that. 3D white, 3D white. This is fresh and white. I believe that one was three ounces. If we can even find the fresh and white. Zero. So I think what I'm going to do is just put toothpaste. And there's a two point seven with minty fresh scope in it. You know, the fresh and white may not be a current flavor that they're using. And as I look at some of these, this one right here, especially cavity protection whitening with baking soda, 2.4 ounces is 97 cents. Of course, it's out of stock. Dollar ninety six here for the cool mint cavity protection. A dollar ninety six for five point seven ounces, which is pretty much double the one that I bought. So that means that Walmart does beat that because I would pay two fifty if I got two tubes of paste to equal the same amount as the crest so the crest toothpaste was not a bargain uh, and then neither was the colgate both of those were cheaper at walmart okay so i have five more items that i want to share for you, with you and these were in the food area and um I like these crushed drinks that I just mix with water and I get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. But you notice that they're a dollar eight at Walmart. And I noticed that most of these drinks mixes, um, the name brand ones, like all of the crushed ones I saw, were a dollar eight. And even um, on the next page, I don't think there was one on this page. See how both of the crushes are $1.08? And then on the next page, even the Hawaiian punch drink mixes are $1.08, which at the dollar store are $1.25. So that is definitely a much better deal at Walmart. It's only a few cents, but when you're buying groceries, those few cents do make a difference. Swiss Miss chocolate. <laughs> um, this one was six envelopes. Um, which is quite smaller than I don't know how they came up with six envelopes but even at that it is cheaper than going to Walmart well the eight count here with the marshmallows 
is a dollar ninety eight. Um, I don't see any where they have eight count hot cocoa packets, twelve pack. Get that good. Makes sense to me. The one that I got was this one with the marshmallows, but there were only six packets in it. So at Walmart, the eight packets are $1.98. So I decided to do the math on that one. So I'll get back with you at the end of this video. But it does look to me that it's still going to be cheaper to go to Dollar Tree. Because 8 count, that basically makes it 50 cents for 2. And if you were to buy a 6 pack at 50 cents for 2, it would be $1.50. So it's still cheaper to get the six pack at the Dollar Tree. Then I like to get these tuna snack, tuna snacks. Um, I have been getting them at the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to see what they were here at um, Walmart. I will say that the ones at the Dollar Tree are only 2.5 ounces, where these are 3.5. Um, that's for Bumblebee. And I'm thinking that I've seen another brand, but all I'm seeing here is Bumblebee. Yeah, but the two and a half ounces at the Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty-five, and here at Walmart you can get a full ounce more for like nine cents more. So definitely, I would purchase those at the Dollar Tree. I mean, at Walmart. I'm sorry as opposed to the Dollar Tree. Because you would be getting more for your money that way. The final item I'd like to share is the ice drinks. I know a lot of people like those and we go through them quite a bit here at my house. I used to get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But now that everything's gone up to $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, it is cheaper to get them at Walmart because Walmart is always a dollar. The problem I found is the selection is not real good. So a lot of times I'll find that, yeah, I can't find the flavors that I want. So I did a little checking out. And if you look at these packs, like we like black raspberry. And you can get a pack of 12 of the black raspberry for $10.66, which amounts to about 89 cents a bottle. So that is a lot less than uh, the Dollar Tree. And it's about 12 cents less than buying the individual ones at Walmart. Um, the problem with this is that you do have to order it off the website, but it's only one day shipping. The other ones that I like that are on here to find one for you. This one here, for example. This is a 12 pack as well. And again, it's it's uh something that you would probably have to have shipped although some stores some of the bigger stores might have them in their area but you can get a variety pack with four different flavors like this is black raspberry cherry lemonade orange mango and kiwi strawberry you can get a 12 pack for 9.98 which comes out to just over 83 cents 
a bottle. So that is actually a very good price for those. And they have other flavor packs as well that are right around that same price. And I was seriously thinking about ordering those because we do, we don't drink soda. So um, we drink a lot of the ice drinks instead, which it looks like we're out of the ice drinks area. Okay, so this is the one we just looked at. There's a uh, 24 pack here. Or did we just, I guess we just looked at that one. So this one has grape, raspberry, strawberry, watermelon, classic lemonade, and lemon something or other. Which one was that? Lemon lime. And again, you can get that for just under $10, which is about a little over 83 cents a piece. So I definitely buy my drinks, my ice drinks at Walmart. They are definitely less, especially if I buy the packs like that. So that's all I have for you today as far as price comparisons go. There were some things that I would continue to buy at the Dollar Tree, but there were other things that I see it's more would be more advantageous to buy them at Walmart. I can save a little bit of money if I just go to both stores and you know, purchase the things that are less at each store. They're not, as a matter of fact, here our Dollar Tree is like, you could almost walk to Dollar Tree from Walmart, so it's really close. If it was on the other side of town, Nana would be a totally different story. I wouldn't take the time to go to both stores. Um, so anyway, that's it for episode one. I'll have another episode of Walmart versus Dollar Tree next week. And I'll just have about 10 items that I will share with you that may be cheaper if you buy them somewhere other than the Dollar Tree. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. <coughs>
on the drinks. And I like the variety. I think it's a good way to try the different ones, you know? So, but they also have packs, like there are more though, if you want to get all the same. Like here's the black raspberry that we like. You can get 12 of them for 1062, which is about 89 cents a bottle. Still better than a dollar. Yeah. And you can get all the one flavor. So it's kind of nice to have those options. Hi, everyone. I'm Donna from Living on a Budget. And on this channel, we like to share ideas on how you can budget your money and find deals for you things to help you save money on groceries and anything else we can help you save money on today is episode one of our series dollar tree versus walmart so what i did is i went to the dollar tree and i bought 15 to 20 items and then i went online and checked on walmart's website to see how much i could have gotten those for at walmart and the results are in this video. So let's go ahead and get started with our price comparison.